Hello Lava friends, this week we have an update on encrypting environment files, Q without delay and the trade that I cannot pronounce. First, there is a new flag when encrypting your environment files. In Lava, we can encrypt our environment files with PHP Artisan environment encrypt like this. We get some output here, it was working. And if we check now in my file tree, we have now this encrypted version of our environment file. Let's delete this again. And now let's try this again, but now we're using a new flag, which you can use now, which is called prune. Let's run this, this also worked. But you can see on the left, we only have now our encrypted version anymore and the original environment file was being deleted. And that's exactly what the prune option does. If you do this by accident, you can still, of course, get back your file here in PHP Storm with local history, show history. And here we have the change where this was deleted, reword our selection, and here it is again. Have fun with the new prune flag. Thank you, Rias. And next, inside a job class like this one, you can define some kind of default delay when this job gets dispatched here 10 seconds. But then when you're actually dispatching it, you can still override this if you want to with the delay method and providing zero, which is nice, but there is now a nicer way to do this with the without delay method. Thank you, Kennedy. And last, I have this new trade for you with the name that cannot be said. In Laravel, we have some very powerful and useful artisan commands for the database. For example, PHP artisan migrate fresh. I believe this is one of my favorite ones, which just clears out your old database and runs the migration again. Perfect for local development. But sometimes you don't want to run this, for example, in production, because this deletes all your data. So this is what happened to our Lava friend, Jason McCreary, and he thought about a way, how can we prevent this? Because this is a command that you can easily run, and sometimes you're not really sure where you're running it, because maybe you're still connected to your production server, and then you don't want to run this. Or for example, when you run this through your code. So what he came up with is a new trait called prohibitable. Prohibitable? Prohibitable? I have no idea how to really pronounce this, but yeah, thank you, Taylor, for always finding those hard names for me to pronounce. Prohibitable. Yeah, I think that's it. So, and what this does is with this trade, if you add this to a specific command, you can check if you really want to run. So let's take a look at the fresh command. And here, right on the top, we are using this new trade here. But again, if I try to run this, this will still run. So how can we now prevent this? So what we can do now is, um, for example, in a service provider, we can now call this method on the fresh command, which is called prohibit. And actually, we don't need to provide anything. And if we try to run this now again, we now see this warning, this command is prohibited from running in this environment. So this is now how you can make sure that this fresh command, for example, is not running. But what you can also provide in here is the environment. So um, we have access here to the app itself. And there is a method called is local. So if we try to run this, this will fail. But if we change this to check if we are in production, there's also not a method for this. And if you run this, this will now run locally, but in production, this wouldn't. So now very flexible in a service provider like the app service provider, you can now prohibit it, um, some commands from running in a specific environment. And that's the same for some other commands as well. Like there is a reset command, or there is a refresh command, or there is another one called wipe command. Um, probably you want to do this for all of them, but you maybe don't want to write it for all of them. So what you can do is you can now use a new method. Let's get rid of this. And this is on the DB facade called prohibited destructive commands. And what this does, as you can see, pretty much the same what we did, fresh command, um, refresh command, reset command, and wipe command. And for all of them, we are running now this new method. And we are also providing here this variable. So this means the same as we did before in our service provider, we could add here a check for a specific environment to make sure that only our commands are run in this specific environment. I'm a big fan of this one liner here because mostly I want to make sure that for all those commands here, that they are not running in a specific environment. So I'm going to use this for my projects for sure. Thank you, Jason. That's it for this week. Let me know which of those new features you like the most in the comments and see you the next time. Bye.